All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Walt Sparrow, and welcome to the Go Home Show for GFW Victory Road. This is our last show before Victory Road, so let's get right underway. We opened the show with LAX calling Penta out for what he did last week. Last week, if you remember, he uh, cleaned house. He took LAX out of the ring. You know, uh, they call him out. J just ask why. Uh, but they get Ethan Carter the third, who says, "Well, if you're calling Penta out." I want to be out here because last I heard, I was facing him at Victory Road this Sunday. So, what's going to become of that? So, he comes out and they both get Sting, who comes out and says that uh, I'm sure Dark Pentagon has his reasons, uh, but we're not going to linger too much on what you guys want because there's an entire show to get through and everybody uh, has their own issues to solve. So he books for the main event tonight, Homicide, El Hijo del Fantasma and El Texano Jr. versus Ethan Carter III, Dark Pentagon, and Ray Phoenix. Next we have Io Shirai who has been making waves over an explosion, uh, debuting against former Knockouts champion Sienna and beating her cleanly by pinfall um, for a 42 rating. Next we have for a 64 rating, uh, Christopher Daniels' vignette. Basically a promo to uh, remember what he did in the past, the championships he has won, his accomplishments, uh, and saying that he will be uh, topping that uh, in 2018. Next we have Marty Bell and Jade versus Alicia Edwards and Ava Story. Uh, Jade defeats Ava Story by pinfall with an STO, but after the match, Rosemary takes Jade and Marty out and calls Kong out for this Sunday. Basically telling... Uh, Kong, this Sunday you have no backup. It is just you and me in that ring this Sunday. Uh, then we have uh, Austin Aries saying that he wants to face uh, Ishimori and Liger tonight in a tag team match. Uh, and we promptly get that match booked. Uh, it'll be Ishimori and Liger versus Aries and, Ty uh, Aries and Tyrus. Uh, Aries and, and Tyrus defeat them uh, when Aries uses the 450 splash to defeat Ishimori. And that is the uh, the match for this week. Uh, Chucky e. T gets a promo on uh, Braxton Sutter to hype up their match this Sunday. Uh, then we have a number one contenders match uh, for the tag team championship. The Dynasty defeats uh, Ortiz and Santana uh, with a 6.30 cent on by Everett on Ortiz. Uh, then we have a stare down between the Dynasty and the Golden Lovers to hype up their match. The fuck? Followed by Johnny Impact asking my, Matt Seidel again to face him this Sunday so they, they can get their problems out of the way. Uh, Seidel says no, he's not interested in that. And uh, Impact storms off. Uh, are you sure you should continue without addressing this? Yes. Then we have Mike, Ma Matt Seidel, uh, who had already a scheduled match tonight, uh, ver defeat the debuting Jeff Cobb. Uh, Jeff Cobb goes into an attacking rage and gets himself disqualified. Uh, Seidel ends up winning, but after the match, uh, Riddle, uh, Jeff Cobb's partner from the Chosen Bros, makes his debut, and they both beat Seidel down. There's no sign of impact for the rescue. Uh, and in our main event of the evening, Ethan Carter III, Dark Pentagon, and Ray Phoenix defeat LAX uh, with a uh, one percenter on Homicide. Uh, the star of the match was Dark Pentagon, apparently, followed closely by Ethan Carter III, then Elijo the Fantasma, then Ray Phoenix, El Texano, and finally Homicide. And we end the show with a stare down between Dark Pentagon and Ethan Carter III as we gear up for Victory Road this Sunday. That'll do it for this episode today. I'm sort of in a time crunch. I'm sorry if this feels rushed. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Our next episode will be Victory Road. Um, so if you want to give your predictions for winners in the comments, uh, go ahead. And I will see you in whatever I upload next.